however, you did not follow the steps. When you're doing a mini task, every single dot on there has to be followed to a T. Like Sarah running her lines into the handlers. Right. It's clearly not that way. So what if you in the end of them? What? Oh, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, one second. For this class challenge, we were testing precision. There were two artists that really impressed us. Jesse, you really followed the stencil, did an overall really detailed, fine job. You paid attention to your marks. Great job, man. Steve, using the single needle, paying attention to which lines you're supposed to touch, getting all those exact details. Very good job, man. It's much respect to you. The judges have come to a decision, and the winner of the class challenge is Steve. Again. They better not get rid of cap baby. You now have the power to assign all the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. Head back up to the loft and get ready to meet your canvases for tonight's elimination tattoo. Made me nervous. You gotta have confidence in the artist. I'll freak out on the inside. Two women, they definitely out. Ignorant. Completely ignorant. Two women, and they both be only tattooing to here. They definitely out. Completely ignorant. Why the f does it matter? You don't have a job. Why is she saying that? Really frustrating. <laughs> They're young and they can't take it. Why about them? That's what makes it fun. But realistically, they could be anybody here. Yeah, definitely. I would let either one of them take my bathroom any day. <laughs> Welcome to this week's elimination tattoo. We're testing precision. Kill it, and you'll be one of the last four artists in the hunt for a hundred grand, a feature in Ink magazine, and the title of It Master. Screw it up, and you'll be packing your machine. You must also impress all of America. Each week, viewers at home will vote for the tattoo that they think is best, using the same criteria that the judges use. Today, we also have a very special guest judge. He specializes in black and gray, photorealism, portraits, and horror. He's been tattooing for 15 years. A little known fact, he got his first tattoo a month before his 30th birthday. Bob Tyrell. <laughs> Canvases, one by one, please reveal the name on the bottom of your skull. No! Okay. You have the rest of the evening to consult with your human canvas. 
Tomorrow, you'll have six hours to complete your portrait tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will uh, be <laughs> shot. Good luck. But in challenge, we're judging precision. We want to see it as exact and as perfect as possible. <laughs> There's no room for interpretation. There's <laughs> a recreation of the... <laughs> Okay. Am I going to be shooting myself? I'm going to have you help me. Pull that forward. Is that good? Yeah, but not all the time. I saw the fire position, so I feel like... That gets it away from the air conditioner. Nothing. The air conditioner is cool for the room off. All right. It takes, like, six hours just to do the space. Are 
think your dad's planning on doing uh, King's Sherry shit? I'm at 10,000.